Hey guys, Chris Grow Fishing here. We are at beautiful West Point Lake in LaGrange, Georgia. That's the backdrop and also the backdrop of my camping site. It's definitely been an awesome view. Cool, cool, cool place. Interesting place. Um, practice is complete. Rods are rigged. Um, gonna go get some gas. Maybe grab some food maybe have a beer because it's well needed for this one guys this place has more cover even though the water's completely low points rocks lay downs so many cool things to throw at but i think there's like 22 bass in the lake um minus a bunch of crazy tiny little spotted bass but uh you look at history here they catch them um but we are going to be faced with some uh, nice weather tomorrow. We've got rain for the majority of the day. Um, I think it's a brisky 46 right now. That's why I got the old heat storm heater rocking when I was rigging and sleeping last night. It saved my ass while I was doing the Tundra Suites. But uh, cool thing. Uh, really, really awesome infrared heater. Uh, you guys already seen all the stuff I put it on IG and all that, but uh, cool item and it's keeping me nice and warm. But uh, quick recap of things: uh, it's grimy. Uh, I mean, it's not even as grimy as home. It's grimy, grimy, grimy. Um, big fish are few and far between. Bites are few and far between. But uh, I like derbies like this, so I'm, I'm jacked up. I'm amped. Uh, the deck is really, really clean. Uh, we got a couple of my go-to favorites. We got some baits that I caught them on. Uh, we got a little bit of sissy stuff, you know, just to at least put some keepers in the boat, but uh, we're not gonna go with that right away. We, we're gonna go with the guns and, you know, I want this cut bad. And uh, I'm not just saying a 50 cut. I want to fish day three. Uh, I had this one circled on the calendar. Did a lot of research prior, which basically, threw that out the window um i'm not really i got one area that i looked at a lot in the off season and it actually thank god i went back yesterday because day one of practice i didn't catch a bass um i think i had one hit my spinner bait but that doesn't count we're not musky fishing but um yeah no i went back in there water cleared up a little bit and got some bites shook a couple fish off so we do have one spot that I circled on the map in pre-practice or pre-map studies, but uh, basically going to go at it power fishing, but unplugged, if that makes sense. Um, I get to the cover instead of, you know, throwing four or five, you know, three or four casts in there, I'm going to throw four or five casts in there, maybe five or six. Uh, basically just picking the part, the cover better, slowing down. Um, I can make up the speed in between in the Phoenix running all 900 spots I got, but uh, that's the name. I gotta slow down on this one. Be confident that there's fish living there. Be confident that they're moving up. It's that time of year. Even though the weather's not conducive, there's a lot of fish that have moved up and are getting ready to spawn. And I'm sure the scopers are gonna steal some, but with this water being low, bass need cover and uh, and they need bait and the areas i'm fishing have bulls so that's what we're going to ride with uh like i said day one tomorrow tackle warehouse mlf boy ducket circus it's upon us so like i said i'm gonna get things rolling here we're still doing it all hashtag cure als hop on a cure guys got the QR codes all over the boat, all over the truck. Um, so you see it in the parking lot or you see my boat somewhere, scan it, you know, skip a lunch, make a peanut butter and jelly, donate five bucks, 10 bucks. Well, you can't get a lunch for five bucks anymore unless you're getting a biggie bag, but that won't fill you up. Um, but uh, guys, I'm Chris Grove Fishing, coming to you from the Phoenix in the Tundra Hotel on beautiful West Point Lake. We're gonna go lay the hammer tomorrow. We're gonna have some fun. Hopefully get a big lucky bite each day. So 
So you guys take care. Rock and roll.